HTTV with Ellingworth and Gregory. Chris, thanks for joining us. Obviously, it was a disappointing result for Huddersfield Town today. What's the mood like in the dressing room? Is, is this going to be hard to, to get over? Um, yes, of course. Uh, the close after the game. Um, it's really hard. Um, I think the um, performance was quite quite well. Um, but if you can see the yeah, these two goals um, they were almost almost the same twice. Um, yeah, it's it's hard to to yeah to bounce back to, to get a good result. And uh, unfortunately today we were not able to, to turn the game and uh, get three points. It was a good start to the match. Town created a couple of chances within the first ten minutes. What went wrong after that? Obviously the momentum was high. The, there seemed to be a lot of like determination in the play. What what happened after that? Yeah, I think it was um, yeah not that easy against a really deep sitting uh, um, opponent. And um, after they they felt that we, they get a lot of pressure, they even went, uh, further back and uh, were even more deep sitting. But um, yeah, we played too slowly in some situations to to um, um, yeah not not fast enough to to get them in the movement. And uh, I think that's where. Where we had some problems to create more chances. How hard is it to, to play against a team that, that sits that deep and lets you and forces you to, to create something special to, to score a goal? Usually it's not that hard for us. Um, I think uh, it's 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 a bit uh, tougher if you if you are back. Uh, if you if, if it's uh, one nil or, or two one in what was in our in our situation, and because then also the crowd gets a bit nervous and, and uh, yeah you as a player also get a bit influenced by that, and um, yeah usually it's 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 a type of game which suits us because we, we are a good football playing team and uh, have a lot of uh, individual strong players who can uh, who can yeah make one in one situation so usually it's not that that bad but if you if you are yeah, and behind uh, one goal uh, and, and run, run uh, always try to, to equalize and get it and get another one. It's also the momentum that uh, was not on our side. Is it just a case then of, of being more clinical in attack and taking the chances when they arise? Yes, of course, but not just like that. I think we, we had so many crosses today, I don't know how many, but uh, it felt like uh, at least 25 crosses and uh, yeah, we, could, we could not. Um, I think in the first half, uh, Casey had one, one scoring opportunity, but um, yeah, we made two, two less out of this. Um, and, yeah, sometimes the crosses were not good. Sometimes, um, yeah, the movement in the middle was was not good. So um, I think we need to work on this as well, because against the deep sitting uh, um, opponents, always, uh, yeah, the, the, the wings are almost uh, uh, always free, and we, we, we had a good. Good, yeah, space to, to cross with it. but um, yeah, we made two less out of this, and um, it's something we need to work on. From a defensive point of view, how frustrating it, is it for for yourself as a defender to, to get hit on the counter attack twice when everyone knew that that's what Wigan were, were going to do? Yeah, uh, it's it's very hard because um, that's usually today was their their only strength, um, a fast striker, and um, yeah, we we are a team who. Who pressed high, and of course, there's a lot of space behind the um, defensive line. So um, we should win uh, if, we, if we stay tight with the strike, and we should, we should win the first one-on-one um, -on -one situation. And uh, if we don't win it, of course, then, then we can uh, run with his uh, with his strength because it's really fast and, and um, create something. Um, two situations. Um, it's it's a bit unlucky, but uh, I think if we we can learn from this as well, and, um, and yeah, but at the moment, it's of course it's frustrating. How hard is it from a defender to face someone like Yannick Wilcher, who's got that amount of pace, power, skill, when he's dribbling at you? How hard is that to to tackle him? Yeah, he's a right-footed striker, so usually um, you can a uh, winger. Uh, it's not it's not that uh, that clear, but. Um, if you, if you should not be in a one-on-one -on -one situation behind, so um, it was especially in the second goal, um, you can free run through through the whole, the whole half, and it's, uh, it's not possible that we defend like that. And um, the best thing is to not not lose the ball or to have a like a clean situation in front to not get a counter attack or make an early foul. But um, we didn't do this, and um, 
so it's it's hard for the last line as well to to defend um, yeah, a, a striker um, with, with um, his strength and the speed and um, yeah, that's, that's what we yeah, need to learn from. Personally, for you, obviously you came on for Mark Hudson who was injured early on in the game. How hard is that for you to mentally and physically prepare yourself for a game that early on? Yeah, I think you, you should always be, um, yeah, have a preparation uh, for a game as if you as if you would play. Um, but uh, of course, if, if the game starts, you, you, you don't think that you come in, in in the first five minutes or ten minutes. So. Um, of course, I, when I came in, I, I needed, I think, 10 minutes to, to really get um, yeah, um, access to the game and, um, yeah, and then to, to can, yeah, we were able to, to bring the performance. But um, it's, I think it's a bit um, complicated to, to, to be there in the first, first minutes. I made here two runs, I think, and then I, I need to, to, to substitute. So um, I think you cannot prepare for, for something like that. Really. How do you respond from a result like today going into the Blackburn game? It's, it's what, what everybody says and nobody wants to hear. It's like we need to keep on here yeah? uh, because I think we, we were not the, the, the worst team today. Um, we were the, like not a bit naive in, the, in, the, in the one or the other situation, but uh, not, not the worst team. And, 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 like, like when it's, it's just a hard game as well, and um, you need to you need to learn from, from the mistakes we did, and uh, hopefully not do them again, and try to win uh, this game, of course, because um, now we've got a, like a streak of I don't know five, six games where we, where we didn't win, um, and we lose a lot of games, and um, you can see also in the, in the table that it's really, really close, everything, and um, yeah, but we're still. Still, uh, yeah, up front, um, tenants uh, like um, more, more up front, but um, it changes so fast in this in this uh, in this league. You see, Leeds, for example, and with a few games you can win and you can you can make a lot of improvement in the table. So that's our aim as well, and to, to start a new streak, a winning streak, and um, I think uh, next next uh, Saturday is a good good starting point. For that. Just finally, how important is it that the fans stick with you and, and keep supporting you with their, their fantastic backing like they did today? Yeah, it's, it's, it's great because um, and, uh, I had the situation before and when you, when you go to other away games um, the stadium is, is half full, it's, it's, it's different and uh, as well today, the, the huge crowd, um, Monday night game, um, people need to work tomorrow. So. Uh, we can really, we are really appreciating that, and uh, can we can just say thank you for the for the great support. And uh, yeah, we, we want to celebrate the win with them, and um, they deserve it um, the same like we did today. But um, with this mistakes, it wasn't possible. But uh, I hope that we can, um, we can, um, yeah, we have the support for for the whole season to um, make the best possible result uh, in this year.